Magandang araw mga fellow gun enthusiasts! Welcome to another video of Philippine Ricochet Line. At ngayong araw na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang Barathroom SPA 8T Shotgun. Okay, so nakita nyo na itong shotgun na to sa dating usapang barrel videos natin. At ngayon, we're gonna go for an unboxing and first impressions video. Now before we begin, we just wanna get some specifics and formalities out of the way. No firearms are for sale in this video. All firearms are licensed under Republic Act 10591. And all firearms have been safety checked prior to the video. Okay? And now na, na gawan natin ang lahat ng formalities na yun, let's proceed. So yan, ito yung shotgun natin. There's not much to the box. If you look, there's a plain box over here and yung tag natin dito. Alright? So, I guess this is one advantage that uh, pistols have over shotguns and rifles that rifles and shotguns to cut costs, cardboard lang yung box nila. Pero kung bumili ka ng pistol, usually plastic yung box. At ang useful kasi yon dahil yung box pag plastic, pwede mong tanggalin yung foam niya at uh, lagyan mo ng ibang bagay. Alright, pero for shotgun, syempre, pag bumili ka ng ganito, tapon mo na rin yung box. But I keep the box for collector's value. Okay, so let's check the contents. Alright, so there's a lot here. So first off, cleaning kit. Bumibili lagi ako ng cleaning kit for every caliber of firearm that I have. Okay, so useful yan. Always clean your firearms using the right cleaning kit. Okay, okay meron tayong uh, dating uh, straw dito. Alright, so yan. We also have this one, a sling. Um, yung sling natin is one inch lang yung width. Not really a big fan of a one inch width na slings. I think siguro minimum ano. Gusto ko sana 1.5 or 2 inches yung sling, yung width niya. Pero no matter, it's free. So wala akong issue dyan. Alright, I'll take it. And we also have the sling slip swivel mount. Okay, again, free. No issues there. Okay, so, yeah, um, other than that, let's check, right, itong ano natin, itong uh, barathroom natin, ano, arms na pump action user manual. Okay, so, pause mo na lang kung gusto mong basahin. Uh, mas manipis yung manual nila compared sa FNP45. But I suppose it's, ano, it's, uh, it gets the job done. Safety warnings, assembly, disassembly, and uh, other kinds of ammunition na, ano, and specifications. Okay? So not a bad uh, shotgun. Alright? So, in yung manual niya, not a bad manual. Shotgun is made in Turkey. Kita ko lang kanina tong, uh, natin yung punch ko dito. Naiwan ko lang dun sa box. No, Nag-safety check. And now... We should check the uh, the firearm. Actually, ito yun. Ano? May, may tag pa pala tayo dito. Ito yung ano natin. Barathroom arms and shotgun. So, as you can see, made in Turkey. Turkish yung part niya dito. Alright. Alright. So, here's the shotgun. Still in plastic wrap. Let's check it out. Now, hold. I always try to keep yung original packaging ng mga guns dahil for collector's value, obviously, gusto mo yung original packaging. Dahil pagdating ng panahon, you know, it adds to the collector's value ng shotgun. And here is the shotgun. Alright, Barathrome SPA-80. Nice! Alright. Safety lang. So you can see, here is the uh, shotgun. Made in Turkey. There you go. Very nice shotgun. So safety check lang muna natin siya. Okay, so to do that, charge the weapon. Okay, no rounds in the chamber, no rounds in the magazine. Okay, point in safe direction. Click. Okay, so there you go. The shotgun is safe and unloaded. Okay. So, uh, before we uh, move further, let's have a little discussion muna. Um, I'm sure to those of you who have been paying attention, 
marami sa inyo nakapansin na by now sa ano ano sa <laughs> frequency ng at availability ano increased availability ng mga Turkish made shotguns sa Pilipinas nandiyan ang Karatay or Altay nandiyan ang Escort nandiyan ang uh, Armed so apansin niyo marami mga Turkish made shotguns sa Pilipinas and bakit ganon bakit marami sa mga shotguns na available sa atin ay made in Turkey Well, that is because Turkey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, <laughs> shotgun manufacturing outsource capital of the world. Pretty much, okay? There are hundreds of shotgun manufacturing companies in Turkey. So, kung Pilipinas, sikat tayo sa mga 1911s natin na pwede nating iano, ano, na pwedeng i-outsource, for example, dito, to be manufactured by arms corps or shooters or metro arms sa Turkey naman shotgun sila sikat. So ang Pilipinas 1911. Okay, dito tayo sumikat sa US arms market dahil kay na arms corps and ang for example Taiwan naman ay sikat sa kanilang electronics at sa kanilang mga mountain bikes na ina-outsource ang manufacturing sa Taiwan eh ang Turkey naman ay sikat among other things, okay? for their shotgun manufacturing industry. Okay? So this is something that you should uh, remember if you want to understand kung bakit common ang mga Turkish-made shotguns sa buong mundo. It's because so many companies manufacture their shotguns there. So kung, for example, gusto mag-start up company sa Pilipinas ng shotgun uh, and to cut costs, you usually outsource mo na lang yung manufacturing mo sa Turkey tapos i-import mo na lang yung shotguns. <laughs> okay? So ganun yun siya. Alright, so yun. Very nice. So, ang Baratrum Arms, it exports shotguns to 14 countries around the world. Okay, so not bad. Not bad for a, you know, for a company gaya ng Baratrum Arms. Okay, so sa lahat ng firearms ko, ito yung pinakamura na sa lahat sa kanila. Uh, mura by a huge margin. So, shotgun talaga. Yun yung pinakamaganda kasi sa shotgun. Eh. Yung isa sa mga pinakamurang firearms na pwede mong i-own sa Pilipinas. Usually, mas mura siya sa pistol. <laughs> Okay, so yun. Alright, so if you're enjoying this video so far, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. Okay, so uh, let's move forward with the video. Okay, so first, tinan mo natin yung shotgun. Specifics natin. So it's got a stock, adjustable yung stock natin. Alright, four positions. Okay, meron tayong yung una kanina. One, one two, three. Four. Yan. So, napakahaba na ng ano mo, ano, length of pull mo. Meron ka rin uh, cheek rest dito. And a rubber butt pad. Tapos meron ka rin shotgun shell holders, which are very, very nice. Okay? Pwede mo lagyan yung shotgun shell yan. So, ang tingin yung muntang dito, meron kang dummy round. Uh, medyo masikip pa siya, dahil hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. But yan, ayan. Pwede ka maglagay ng, <laughs> ng shotgun rounds dyan. Okay? Yan. So, this is a dummy round, by the way. So, no gunpowder in it. Okay? So, yan. Meron kang shotgun. So, as I mentioned, rubber butt pad. Very important. Lalo na dahil malakas ang recoil ng shotgun. Alright? It's gonna save your shoulders a lot of pain. So, very nice to have. Pistol grip. It has a 10.5 inch barrel. At itong barrel natin ay 12 gauge, 76 millimeters. So, kaya niya ang 3 inch magnum shells. Alright? We'll talk about that later. Because that is an important part of this video. So, yan. Proof tested, made in Turkey. Very nice. So, yan. Okay? Ito yung ano natin, loading gate natin. At yun yung tubular magazine natin. Yung kulay orange na yan. Alright? So, yan. So, fiber optic uh, front side. Muscle device natin. Safe direction naman dyan. Walang tao. And meron din tayong folding grip. Okay? So, to activate the grip, to deploy it, Pinitin mo lang yan. Yan. Okay? So, vertical. Alright? So, yan. Maganda siya. Alright. There you go. So, again, to safety check, I'll just uh, charge this. Okay? Empty everything. Point in safe direction. Click. Okay? So, the firearm is now safe. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, ang magazine capacity nito 2 plus 1. Alright, so, konti lang, 
Konti lang yung rounds mo, 2 plus 1, 1 in the chamber, 2 in the ch in the tubular magazine. So take note, ha? tubular magazine po yan. Magazine po tawag natin doon, hindi clip. <laughs> okay? So important na yan, na no, alam mo na 2 plus 1 lang yan kasi kailangan mo mag-reload ka agad. Okay? So maganda itong shotgun ito because it's small, but because it's small, you only have a limited uh, ammunition capacity. So just reload often and practice mo lang yung mabilis na reloads mo gaya ng car lock shuffle. <laughs> okay? So yan. Alright, so um, ayun nga, uh, ang shotgun na ito, it can fire 3-inch magnum rounds. So what do I mean by that? Now, ang shotgun kasi, one of the things that I like about the shotgun and why I think the shotgun is the most effective home defense weapon is because marami kang rounds na pwedeng gamitin sa shotgun. Sobrang versatile niya in that department. So just to give you some examples of the rounds that we have available, meron tayong bird shot. Okay? Uh, bird shot, as the name suggests, panghant ng small game. This one contains uh, more than 100 small pellets. So maganda to for hunting birds. And the best part here is if the pellets, you know, are fired in the air, it doesn't become too much, it doesn't have the mass to become a very uh, deadly uh, hazard. Of course, you really shouldn't fire your guns in the air to begin with, pero yun yung uh, maganda dito. And sure, ball, makaka-tama ka ng uh, mas malaki yung ano mo, yung uh, hit area mo for targeting flying uh, birds. So yan, maganda yan. For hunting. Of course, I never, uh, you won't use bird shot pag nasa city ka kasi hindi ka naman nag sa city, pero just something to think about pag nag ka. Right, we also have dummy round. So ito, gumamit ka lagi ng dummy round pag nagda-dry fire ka. Okay? Very useful to have around para i-cushion mo yung firing pin mo. Alright? For longevity of your firearm. And you also have yung double-o buck. Okay? So ito yung typical na gamit ng mga security guards, ano? Double-o buck. So ang laman nito 9 pellets. Na 9mm, I think, yung diameter niya. 9 pellets. So ito... Kaya natin tinawag na buckshot, typically ginagamit natin to against uh, deer targets. Since, well, wala naman nag yata nag ng deer dito sa, ano, sa, <laughs> sa Philippines, or sa city, or most sa mga, fo most sa mga forest natin. Although I think there are still some deer in some very remote areas ng bansa natin. Uh, ito kasi typically ginagamit natin siya for anti-personal use. Ano? So, yan. Shotgun. Round double O buck. Okay, huwag kang gumamit ng bird shot pag ang target mo ay tao, ano? <laughs> Kasi yung reduced yung effectiveness niya. So, yan. And of course, meron pa akong, uh, wala akong example dito ngayon, pero meron din tayong shotgun slug, which is very uh, important. Kasi yung shotgun slug ay uh, single projectile lang siya. So, very powerful single projectile. Malakas ang recoil ng shotgun slug. Okay, so kung mag-fire ka nun talaga, mararamdaman mo talaga malakas yung sipa niya compared sa buckshot at birdshot. And itong shotgun na to, it uses a smooth bore barrel. And the reason why gumagamit tayo ng smooth bore barrel sa shotgun is because pag gumamit tayo ng rifling sa shotgun, uh, masyado niyang dinidisturb yung uh, spread pattern ng shots, ng birdshot at buckshot. Okay, so kung may rifling ka, nakaka-disturb siya ng pattern. Pabor ang rifling kung slug lang yung gamit mo to stabilize the round and give it, you know, more stability in flight. Pero kung gamit mo ay buckshot at birdshot, medyo gumugulo yung spread pattern niya. So for uh, spread pattern consistency, uh, smooth bore yung gamit natin sa mga shotguns. Okay? And mas mura ang barrel, syempre, pag smooth bore. Kasi mahal mag-rifle ng barrel. Alright? So that's just something to, to understand. And finally... Itong shotgun na to, rated siya for 3-inch magnum shells. At ang 3-inch magnum shells, an example niyan is this. Okay? So, inuulit ko lang, pag ang shotgun mo ay hindi rated for 3-inch magnum shells, wag kang mag-fire ng 3-inch magnum shells sa shotgun mo. Maraming mga shotguns kasi uh, ay hindi rated for this. Ano? For example, just to give you a comparison, ito yung ano natin, bird shot natin. Mas matangkad. Kita mo naman, mas matangkad ang 3-inch magnum uh, shell. Tsaka mas malaki yung powder charge niya. So, kung ito, ang laman nito ay double o back. Parehas lang ang laman. Ano? Ito double o back din to. Ito double o back din to. Pero kung double o back nito ay a double o, laman nito ay 9 pellets. Itong laman nito, as you can see over there, 15 pellets. So, mas malakas talaga ito. 
compared to this. Okay? So, yan. 76 millimeters yung chamber niya, gaya nung sa shotgun na nakita nyo kanina. 76 millimeters din. Alright? So, yan. And, yun nga, warning lang. Yan. Malakas ang chamber pressure nito. Kaya, wag mong gamitin ito sa mga shotgun na hindi rated para sa 3-inch magnum shells. Okay? Kasi, masisira yung bolt mo tsaka yung bolt stop mo. Okay? This is very, very important dahil uh, uh, yun nga, kung ang shotgun mo gaya nito ay rated for 3-inch magnum, then go. Pwede mong gamitin mga 3-inch magnum shells. Okay? Meron din 3-inch magnum slug. Ayun talaga, sobrang lakas ng recoil nun. Kaya mapapakinabangan mo talaga dun yung butt pad. Okay? Pero pag umubos ka ng more than 5 rounds nun, talaga masakit na yung balikat mo. The recoil on that one is severe. So, requires a lot of training to get used to. Okay? So, there you go. Shotgun Baratrum Arms SPA-80. So, disassemble lang natin siya for cleaning. Okay? So, tinan lang natin siya. Kung kiklean mo siya, you take the bore brush here, you insert it here, and you just uh, uh, pass through it several times. Pero, syempre, gusto mo rin linisan yung internals niya. And to do that, you need to remove these two pins. Okay? So, let me just uh, show that. So, yan ako lang to. Ibabalik ko lang yung uh, grip natin. Okay? So, to remove itong ano natin, trigger group natin, you just push these pins out. Gamit lang ako itong trusty na punch ko. Okay? Okay, wala naman akong, uh, example, this is a Glock punch. Wala naman akong Glock na pistol, pero bumili lang ako ng punch nila kasi maganda yung quality. Ayan, so natanggal mo na yung dalawang steel na pins niya. Okay, ngayon, natanggal mo na yung dalawang steel na pins niya. Alright, pwede mo nang tanggalin yung, ano niya, uh, trigger group. Okay, there you go. Tanggal mo na yung trigger group. Pag natanggal mo na yung trigger group, pwede mo nang linisan yung loob niya. Madali mo nang malilinis yan ng rug. Okay, there you go. That's the bolt. There you go. In yung ano niya, uh, magazine niya, tsaka yung chamber. Alright? There you go. Let's talk about yung ano natin. Trigger group. So yung trigger group natin, ito yung loading gate. Uh, yan. Spring loaded siya. Alright? So naka ready to fire. Uh, ito yung hammer natin. Ano? So, if you lock the hammer back and you pull the trigger, yan. The hammer fires. Okay? Lock it back, pull the trigger, hammer fires. So, kita mo naman yung mechanical uh, ano niya, functions niya. So, meron still reinforced yung pinholes niya. So, maganda yan talaga. No? Good sign of quality. Mas matibay yan. Dahil may steel channel ka doon sa... May steel pipe ka na dinadaanan yung pins. So, ito naman yung ano natin. Yung bolt release natin. So, kung nilock mo to, nag-deploy itong ano natin. Itong uh, bolt release. Ayan. Okay. Alright, so nice. Very nice trigger group. Okay, so let's reassemble. Okay, so to do that, you uh, take yung, ano natin, yung shotgun natin. Alright, let's take the shotgun. Just uh, put it back in there. Medyo makulit lang na ibalik itong ano natin, itong trigger group. Pero there you go. Okay, now i-align mo na lang yung butas ng ano natin, ng trigger group natin. Okay? It's a little bit high. We'll lower it a bit. Okay? Then you take the pins and then you simply reinsert them. Yun. There you go. One pin in. And second pin Yan. So, ano na lang. I-align mo lang siya ng maayos. can take a few tries. Masikip pa yung pins niya dahil uh, bago pa lang talaga tong shotgun na to. And I've had it quite a few, quite a while now. Pero hindi ko pa siya na-disassemble at na-reassemble lagi. So, yan. Ngayon na nagbalik na natin lahat ng pins. Yan na siya. That's already reassembled. Okay? So, to test the function, you just charge it. There you go. Okay? Lock it back. So cycle mo na siya. Uh, point in safe direction. Click. Okay? Test for function. Pass na yung function test natin. And the shotgun is now fully assembled. Okay? There you go. 
So yeah, that is the Barathrum SPA 8T shotgun. Okay, so uh, for those of you who are looking for the ultimate, ano ano, affordable home defense weapon, I highly recommend a shotgun. Uh, ang shotgun kasi talaga siya yung pinaka versatile sa lahat ng uh, firearms na pwede mong gamitin. Uh, pistols don't even come close kasi sa pistols kasi wala ka namang bird shot sa pistol for example although may mga balang ganoon gaya ng sa CC ay na bird shot uh, they're, they're a niche round kind of hard to find and you get rubber box shot here for non-lethal application okay bird shot for hunting rubber box shot slugs and dami mo ammo choices and that makes the shotgun in my opinion the uh the best home defense uh, weapon, lalo na kung nasa province ka. Okay? So, I like it so much, I have one. Alright, so that pretty much sums it up for the Barathrum SPA-80 shotgun. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions or questions, please, tanong nyo lang. I'll be more than happy to answer them like always okay i like answering the questions of my audience and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and of course i will see you all in the next video please join us in our facebook group charles out